I'm so glad you could join us today. I've got messages when you want them. Mm. I also checked out Casino. There are multiple listings in the white pages. I got the page, but you'll have to figure out the right one. Right. Thanks. Now, are you gonna tell me what happened yesterday with Molly Getty, or is it just too embarrassing? Mmm. Don't tell me you actually got to see her. Mother's dolls out tonight. Gabriel, you don't seriously think she's interested. She can have any man in the city. You know, men with bank accounts. You underestimate the Knight family's tragic poet samurai appeal. When Daddy married Mom, she was the hottest catch in town. Hmm. I always suspected there was something fishy in your family tree. But seriously, I think you should be careful. Meow, Grace. I'm serious. I don't know why, but I have a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach about this. It's called jealousy, my dear. And you're right, you should be jealous of Malia Getty. And should every woman on this planet. I just... Oh, never mind. I'll just fix these books. Your life is in your own slippery little hands. The point is to get it into somebody else's hands. And soon. Calling from the Dixieland Drugstore. We have an order for you. Castro, be quiet. Who is this? I'm a friend of the owner. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Madame Casino as a client? Madame Casino? Sure, I know her. She's not here right now, though. Really? Hmm. She told me she'd be there. Would you happen to have her address by any chance? Uh, yes, but I'm not sure I should give it out. Who are you again? I'm worried about Castro. He's missed three dance lessons. Castro, it's okay. Her address is 345 Dopey. Thanks. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Do you have messages for me? Your pal Mosley called. He left a message that they are interrogating a suspect this morning, and you might want to be there. Sounds fun. Mm-hmm. I bet.
You! Give me back my badge! Now, knight! Sure. Thanks for letting me, uh, borrow it. Yeah? You borrow it again in your history. <clears throat> now, about today. Glad you made it. It'll give you a feel for how I am in action. You know, handling suspects, that sort of thing. I'm sure it'll be invigorating. Who is this guy, anyway? Calls himself Crash. He's been an informant for us before, mostly helping us bust small-time pimps and dealers trying to break into the territory. He's been staying invisible during these murders, but we picked him up this morning at Jackson Square pushing coke. He knows something. Call it Detective's Instinct. Detective's Instinct? Got it. All right, Crash. I want to hear about these murders. Have you been present at the so-called voodoo rituals? I don't know nothing. All right, I told you. Come on now. You can tell me. Do you know anyone who's been to these rituals? Look, I can't say nothing. You gotta let me go. Relax. No one knows you're here. The men who picked you up were in plain clothes. Plain clothes? Like you could fool them. They know I'm here. They've got ears all over the city. They know everything. Who are they, Crash? Are they the ones doing the murders? Let me go. If you're so worried about being detained, start talking. You tell me what I want to hear, and maybe I can get you into the witness protection program. But you gotta earn it. Witness protection? Are you crazy? Oh, don't make me laugh. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, just let me out of here. Oh, come on. Who's behind these murders, Crash? Why are the victims all members of the underworld? Oh, by now they know I'm here. It's different when I'm supposed to come here. Oh, if I can send a message. Yeah, tell him I didn't say nothing. Christ, he's freaking useless. Just take him back to detaining, would you, Tony? I'll tell you, times like this, I'd kill for truth serum. Damn civil rights. Can I quote you on that? Huh? Hell no. Damn, we can only keep him for 24 hours. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have to let him go. Sorry it wasn't more exciting. You know, for the book, I mean. Hey, maybe you could punch it up some. You know, uh, what do they call that? Uh, fiction. That's it. It certainly is. I'll see what I can do. How's it going today? What? Oh, it's only you. Man, I have been jumpy all day. That... that pattern of yours really freaked me out for some reason. There's just something... Uh, creepy. You finished it? Yeah, and you're welcome to it. Here. Wow. This is great. Uh-huh, yeah. Just don't, like, blow up the planet with it or something, okay? I didn't mean to upset you. Ah, forget it. I'm probably just being stupid. Do your thing with it, and, uh, good luck. Madam Lorelei, is it? What can I do for you, handsome? That's a nice snake you have there. Oh, I could say the same of you. Hmm. <laughs> well, I know where I got mine. Where'd you get yours? That's personal. I'd really like to know more about that snake. Oh, sorry, sweetie, but... I don't discuss Elvis with anyone. Oh, uh, nothing. Well then move aside, sweetie, but stay where I can look at you, okay?
Come on, boys. Hoopla! Not a bad idea. Mmm, baby, I love the way you move. Yep, she wants me. Thanks, boys. I think this veil belongs to you. Oh, my veil! I'm always losing those things. You have no idea. Well, darling, you're such a sweetie to return a lady's delicates and... and so handsome as well. Well, I... And since you have such a clear interest in fortune-telling, let me see your hands. They look so strong. Perhaps they will make both our fortunes clear, no? I wish something would. Mmm, strong, yes, and yet so delicate and flexible. Mm. You don't know the half of it. Oh, good. I see a mysterious woman in your immediate future. She is a dangerous one, dark and beautiful. Oh, I see the road of your life forking, and very soon. Are you okay? There are horses. Oh God, beware, beware. What is it about me lately? is the tribal religion of Africa, but the name Voodoo is actually a banner heading, under which resides an entire body of distinct tribal belief systems. The word Voodoo may sound familiar to you. What is known in the States as Voodoo is actually an amalgamation of African religious systems, Voodoo, and European religions, primarily Catholicism. All of the subcults of African Voodoo have certain things in common. The most important is the worship of a pantheon of spirits, instead of the single deity that the Christian and Muslim systems have. Some of these spirits are elementals. Some relate to specific tasks or places. Some represent important tribal leaders who have died. This spirit worship is what makes Voodoo so easily adaptable. With all these spirits, it's no problem to add a few more. Say, for example, the Virgin Mary. At the height of tribal Africa, Warfare was common. One tribe would conquer another, and the Loire, important in the conqueror's tribal system, would be adopted readily into the conquered tribe's Loire pantheon. In this way, many of the Voodoo cults spread and mingled throughout tribal Africa, enriching the belief system and causing innumerable offshoots. The basis for the Voodoo religion seems to be as old as man himself. It has much in common with many early pagan practices. 
animal totems, sympathetic magic, elemental spirits in the trees, the heavens, the bodies of the sick. Africa is believed by many to be the cradle of the human race. Some of the voodoo loa may be as old as the Garden of Eden itself. We still can't explain some of the real power of these primal religions. And note, I said primal, not primitive. There are African bokors who baffle our scientists with their supernatural powers. Now, let's discuss the elements of voodoo. Fascinating guy. In voodoo, the spirits are called the loa. During a voodoo ceremony, Celebrants are possessed by the Loa. This is called being ridden. The human worshipper is seen as a horse, and the Loa as the divine horseman. A person being ridden by a Loa takes on the characteristics of that spirit and becomes, in effect, merely a vessel for the more powerful entity. Some of the older original Africa Loa include Dambala, the great serpent god, Ezuli, the mistress of love, Papa Nebo, or Gede, the lord of death, Awe, the spirit of water, Legba, spirit of the crossroads, and the cruelest and most dangerous, Ogun Badagri, the lord of destruction. I gotta get more sleep at night. Tribe-specific Loa can have as much or more power as the more widely worshipped Loa. For instance, a particular tribe might revere highly the Loa of an ancestor who was a legendary hunter or politician. Voodoo temples are called Houndfors. Their priests, Houngan or Bokors, their priestesses, Mamaloa. In a Voodoo Houndfor, there's a ritual circle marked by a center pole called a Hoto Metan. During ritual conclaves, initiates dance under the supervision of a Bokor and a Mamaloa or head priestess. The use of totems or animal masks and markings was not uncommon in the original African ceremonies. Now though, all but the oldest sects have abandoned this practice. Ritual objects used during the conclaves included the ritual gourd, or asan, the ritual knife, or kubasa. That knife gives me the chills. The ritual whip, or fuet cash, and the ritual coffin, or seke madule. These items are often optional, called for by the Mama Loa for specific magical rituals. The Mama Loa is the most powerful figure in any voodoo sect. Voodoo is a truly matriarchal system. Even the Bokor knows his power is limited. The Mama Loa is the supreme woman. She comes out of her house at night, sees many things and tries to get butterflies, and at night again, she sees and sees, including fireflies. Firelight. Gabriel? Mm. What? Can't see. Gabriel, get in. Can't. It's too small for me. You must get in, Gabriel. It's not mine. Too small. Hide, Gabriel. Hide. No. Let me out. Help. Young man, the lecture is over. Oh, my God. Sorry. Can you tell me anything about this? Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. Mind if I copy this? Be my guest. Great. I'll be right back. Here you go. You know, this is a fascinating veve. You must tell me all about its origin. Actually, I was hoping you'd tell me. Can you figure out anything about it from the symbols? Well, some. That's why I wanted a copy. I want to research the design myself. Have you heard of the voodoo murders? No. You're kidding. Really? Then the voodoo is authentic. The newspapers are wrong. Boy, are they wrong. 
You think this uh, Vey Vey is authentic? Authentic? Mr. Knight, that's like asking if the Mona Lisa is a painting. Tell you what, I'll look into these symbols myself and see what I can learn about the sect that made this. I'll give you a call when I have more information. Uh, you are associated with the police, aren't you? Absolutely. Uh, but I'm undercover. You can contact me at St. George's Bookshop in the corner. All right. Now, I'd like to get started on this, if you don't mind. Is there anything you can tell me about the voodoo aspects of this photograph? This is a serious voodoo ritual. Nasty stuff. In what way? Let's see. I can't make out much detail from this photograph, except for the corpse, of course. But the wound, the face, and what little I can see of the ritual paraphernalia... Hmm. It reminds me of certain black voodoo practices. Very rare. I've never witnessed them myself, you understand. Really? Interesting. Thanks. Are you a student? No. My name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. Well, you've already interrupted and slept through my lecture, Mr. Knight. I hope you have something worthwhile to do here. If you figure it out, let me know. Do you know what Capri saint Cor means? Capri saint Cor? Yes, I do. It's a Haitian term, I believe. It's French, and literally translates as goat without horns. As in a female goat? No, as in a human sacrifice. Sacrifices in Voodoo are usually of the animal variety. Chickens, bulls, goats. If the gods demand a goat without horns, it means a human being. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? While I find the colloquial bastardizations of Voodoo somewhat interesting, from a sheerly intellectual point of view, there's not a lot of relation between people like Laveau and true Voodoo practices. Tell me more about human sacrifice. It's very rare. Most Voodoo practices do not include human sacrifice as a matter of record, but it is theoretically possible if that's what the gods demand. For example, one of the chants I had translated for me from a Haitian ritual went like this. Mistress Ezuli, come and aid us. If a cock is demanded, we will give it. If a bull will suffice, behold it. But if a goat without horns is required for sacrifice, oh, where will we find one? Ezuli is the gentlest of Loire, so they call on her for mercy but I have seen grown and powerful Hongan tremble before a possession by one of the more violent Loire, such as Papa Nebo. Clearly, they are afraid that something of the sort will be ordered, or that Loire will simply take it for themselves. Do you know anything about snakes? I'm not a zoologist, Mr. Knight, but I know all I care to about reptiles. May I help you, my child? I'd like to make a confession. All right, if it'll make you feel better. I've had impure thoughts about a woman I met. Impure thoughts? You mean thoughts of sexual relations? You could say that, but uh, worse than what you mean. Worse? You mean extreme sexual relations? Well... 
not involving animals or anything. Oh, well. <laughs> Perhaps we should just leave it at that. Pray for forgiveness and say ten rosaries. Is there anything else? I've done some pretty rotten things to my friend Mosley. Rotten? What do you mean? Practical jokes, insults, uh, among other things. I see. Are you sorry? Well... Pray for forgiveness and say three rosaries. Is there anything else? I haven't paid my assistant for three months. Have you had the money? Nope. Sounds like a matter for the courts, son. Not the church. Is there anything else? Some people say I'm a selfish person, father. We can always strive to improve ourselves. Patterns can be broken. Yes. Thank you, father. Is there anything else? I think I just need to give an overall apology to the universe. I see. Apology noted. Thanks, father. Is there anything else? I've had a lot of women, father. A lot? More than ten? Yes, father. More than twenty? Yes, father. More than... forty? <clears throat> yes, father. Son, I don't think this is a matter for a priest. I think you need a good therapist. If we're counting therapists, then I'm up to at least, uh, let's see here, count the one, and uh, <laughs> this might take a while. My son, I'm afraid my lunch break is coming on about now. Pray for forgiveness and say 20 rosaries. On second thought, when you finish the math, say that many rosaries. I should probably add one more rosary for that while I'm at it. I've been a bad boy. I've always wondered how the other half lives. You never know when a priest's collar will come in handy. Yes? Who is it? I have some fine magazine subscriptions for sale. I am sorry, I am not interested. Hello, beautiful. It's me. The excitement of seeing you is killing me. I might be able to use this black shirt. This is private. Yes? Who is it? It's Father McLaughlin to see you. Father McLaughlin, you say? Hmm. You must be new in the parish. I'm so pleased to meet you, Father. Do come in. Thank you, my child. Please be seated, Father. Thank you. Now, 
What can I do for you? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions, my child? Of course not, mon père. Do you have any idea what Cabri Saint Cole means? Maybe I know. I bet you do not know, Fazer, Nespa. It means goat without horns. Fazer, you surprised me. You do know what it means. You know what they mean by goat without horns, don't you? A human being. That's right. Slit your throat, cut out your heart. Pure evil murder. Do you know anything about human sacrifice here in New Orleans? Well, my great-grandma there could tell stories. She saw it. People say that sort of thing wasn't done in New Orleans. But the real voodoo queens did it. Oh, yes. Who are the real voodoo queens? Well, my great-grandmother told me that Lavo was just a one, a flamboyant decoy. She distracted authorities from the real voodoo queen of New Orleans. It's been the same one for almost 200 years. She's head of a secret voodoo enfant. That's what they call their temples, you know. It's so secret, most of the voodoo people in the city don't even know about it. The real Voodoo Queen controlled Lavo, gave her a little bit of power, and you saw like a puppet. Tell me more about this secret Voodoo Hound for. Well, I've never seen it. I wouldn't go near it if you paid me. But it's here in New Orleans, I guarantee it. I hear their drums at night, oh yes. That's why I'm so ill, I tell you, those drums. But we shouldn't talk about it. They'll hear us. It's the devil's work that happens there, I can tell you. I'll show you something. Something secret. You mustn't tell anyone, Father. I swear on my collar. Here it is, mon père. A true object of evil if ever there was one. It radiates something, all right. It belonged to my great-grandmother. She told my mother that it was a token to gain entrance to the real voodoo ceremonies. You don't say. To tell you the truth, I've always felt nervous about having it in the house. You know, evil influence and all. I can see how you would, yes. And yet, I could never part with it. It's been in the family for generations. Would you bless it for me, father? I feel strange asking such a thing of you. But surely, you understand. Bless this bracelet of a snake. Even though its vibes aren't great, let it do nobody harm when they wear it on their arm. Voodoo spirits, go away. Don't come back another day. And now, let us pray. Bless, so oh bless this circlet of silver. Take the curse, oh take it, Wilbur. A lovely blessing, mon père. Yes, I think it made a lasting impression. Here you go. I feel so much better now. Good day, Madame Casano. Goodbye, Father. Mr. Knight, what are you doing here? Um, uh, my family's tomb is here. Mine too. Unnoticed. Subtle. Well, Mr. Knight, if there's nothing else, 
Don't go. I need to talk to you. Whatever for? I can't stop thinking about you. I've been in your thoughts too, I can see it in your eyes. Mr. Knight, you don't know anything about me. I'm not in a position to get involved. I've said that a million times myself, but this is different. I think we both know we can't fight it. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm saying this. I have so many obligations. My family is very traditional. You wouldn't understand. Hey, I love tradition. I've seen Fiddler on the Roof a hundred times. <laughs> this isn't a musical, Mr. Knight. We live in different worlds. Look, I know you got more money than God. Do you think I care? Do you think that's why I'm saying this? No, I don't. Why don't you come see my world? I've got a little bookshop, St. George's on Bourbon. I know. See, I knew it. You're crazy about me too. Come by tonight, please. My world isn't so bad. I'm sorry, but there's no place for someone like you in my life. Not now, not ever. Damn it. Excuse me. I'm going inside. Oh? I'm afraid St. George's is closed for the day. I'm not a customer. I'm here to see the owner. Why don't you just leave your name and number with me, and I'll tell him you stopped by. Listen, if Gabriel is here, he'll want to see me. Is he? Here? I really couldn't say for certain, but in the morning... Gracie, say goodnight. You came. I didn't think you would. I didn't think I would either. Your eyes. Hmm. Uh, I, I could show you around a little. It's, it's not much, but... Uh... Please don't. I couldn't focus on much of anything right now. Yeah, I know. God, what is it about you? Just shut up and kiss me.